All right, so welcome back to uh, Fallout. We're in Covenant doing an investigation into a missing caravan. And we got some leads, maybe. the. We're going to talk to her again. I think we stop kitten. And the kitten is still in my lap being annoying. I'm trying to get rid of him, but he just keeps coming back. Hey, Penny. You here to shop? Do you have time for a few? For you? <laughs> Certainly. Does Covenant have some sort of problem with synths? Thank God we don't. None of those machines are in here. Hmm. Do you know anything about a missing caravan? Oh, you're still carrying on about that? <laughs> Listen, I'm really busy, you know, but you take care now. Looks like we missed a chance to... Gave me the option to butter her up, but I'm pretty sure we would have failed it because it was a medium difficulty. So... The only place left is what I'm assuming is Mayor's house. Ted better get on this pronto. Another newcomer. Welcome. Anything to s you, uh, Mr. Fitzgerald? We don't tolerate violence or vulgarity. Steer clear of those, and we'll get along just fine. Can I, like, push you out? I want to use that computer terminal, but I don't want him sitting in here while I do it. This cell means business. Go away. Uh. Please? Dude? I can't use a computer terminal and power armor anyway. Hmm. Oh, you know what? Here, let's try this terminal. From a brief rest for, to a long stay, we have everything you are looking for in Covenant. Located in the Central Commonwealth, we have easy access to the best and safest trade routes in the area. Our guest dormitories are spacious, well-appointed, and our friendly Mr. Handy even offers free lemonade. For large caravans, extra sleeping bags can be provided on request. Just talk with Mr. Fitzgerald. We hope you enjoy your stay here as much as possible. <clears throat> we're, a, mm -hmm, we're a young community formed by like-minded individuals dedicated to restoring a quality of life that's been gone for too many years. Our secret ingredients are a shared vision, hard work, and old-fashioned hospitality. Since the walls have come up, we've hosted more and more traders. Our store offers a wide variety of trade goods at rock-bottom prices. If you find it cheaper elsewhere, let us know and we'll beat it. Um, blah, 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 blah. <clears throat> Alright, that didn't tell me anything. The only thing left is to check that computer terminal, but... Oop, are you leaving? Please leave, please leave, please leave, please. Yeah. Don't come back over here. Leave. Walk out that door. Walk out that door. Yeah. Yeah, get the fuck out. Got to use this terminal quickly. Uh-huh. Personal files. Okay. So this must be about all of the people living here. Fitzgerald B. Concerns none. Mr. Fitzgerald treats our mission as seriously as I do. If only he could do something about his wife. Uh, Fitzgerald P. That's the shopkeeper. Mentioned the sins as undesirables. Altercation with M. Bell. Frequent negative comments about other personnel and other places in the Commonwealth, specifically Diamond City. Severe reprimand for warning one trader about the Institute and, quote, their ways. If Miss Fitzgerald was not extremely effective in her role, I'd request she be reassigned to the compound. But she's married to Mr. Fitzgerald, so her permanent posting here is required. Nothing to be done but frequent reinforcement of our mission. And its parameters. Sometimes I feel she cares more about running her store than her goals. <clears throat> T. Huntley. Concerns. Po possession of contraband on three separate occurrences. General antisocial behavior has made visitors uncomfortable. Huntley's new to Covenant, and given his past, it's understandable that he's jumpy. Hopefully, over time, the community can help him feel safe. If he keeps making visitors feel nervous, though, he may need to be reassigned. On the bright side, his reclusiveness makes him ideal for running messages to the compound. Even when traders are in town, his absence is rarely noticed. T. McGovern. Visitors comment on her nervousness and jumpiness. She's very compassionate. Could that be a problem? After bringing up my concerns to her, Miss, um, 
After bringing up my concerns to her, Miss McGovern has really come around. Part of her job is to act natural and anything she does, she overdoes it. I really hope she's truly recovering instead of putting on an act. Even if it is an act, she's utterly indispensable to our operation. Uh, P. Montgomery. Concerns none. I have no specific con concerns about Miss Dr. Montgomery. Looking at her now, you would have no idea of what she's been through. The only... Talking is hard. The only niggling detail is that she keeps to herself and hasn't integrated into the community. But I suspect she resents being transferred here and would prefer to be working on the core mission. But before she was here, our visitors' numbers, one complaint was lack of medical services. So we need at least one doctor here. And unfortunately for her, she's the only one qualified that has a suitable temperament. And Swanson. Concerns none. Swanson keeps to himself. He works directly for the compound in administering the test. And as such, I have no idea who he was or how to help him. He keeps himself strictly apart from the community. Whether that's his orders or temperament, who's to say? Okay. Fisherman report. Mr. Huntley has aborted five compound runs due to a fisherman, name unknown, who has stationed himself at the Mystic Pines Pond. Mr. Huntley reports his new favorite fishing hole is directly on top of the compound entrance. The Stockton retrieval team was almost spotted by the outsider. I recommend... Oh, it's not finished. Okay. Oh, shit. Gotta get back in my power armor. Uh-huh, nothing going on here. You didn't see anything. Let's see, um... Hey, a stranger. It's no secret you've been poking around. Not very neighborly of you, if you ask me. I know you think you're doing the right thing. Just don't make any rash decisions you'll regret. Is that a fucking threat? What rash decisions are you talking about? Maybe your next destination doesn't appreciate trespassers. Just come out and say what you mean. Maybe you heard a rumor about Stockton's caravan and a certain compound? So, hypothetically, let's say there's something to that. We wouldn't do anything unless we had good reasons. The best. Tell you what, you just stop this investigation and I'll give you a gift. 100 caps. And then you'd be welcome back here as our friend anytime. How can you justify killing a caravan? It isn't as simple as all that. Hasn't our community been good to you and others passing through? So all I'm asking is you have a little faith in us. Hmm. So they don't like since they murdered a compound, or not a compound, a caravan. Was somebody in the caravan a synth? Surely there's room for compromise. I get stocked in survivors and we stay friends. I'd have to know more though. Please, stranger, Damn it. just stay clear of the compound. Nope, no can do. Going to the compound, sorry. Okay, so where, it said Misty Pines. Pond. So I'm assuming that's his. Oh, okay. It's right across from me. Um. So I always thought the power armor let you breathe underwater, but I could be mistaken, because we did start to drown when we collected it, because it was underwater. Um. So I guess we'll just go all the way around. I need that blood leaf too. Oh, my lurk eggs. Did we upgrade our... Um, I don't think I did. Tactical automatic? No, I didn't upgrade it to penetrating or whatever. I don't really want the eggs. I have enough eggs. I want the meat. Oh, hello. You're what I want. Club faster. Melee in this is a little slow. Okay. Is that it? Just a single Meyer Lurk? Okay, fair enough. 
Okay, um, geez, that's a long way around. Our core is almost out of energy. Should we have brought Dan? Should we have told him? Shit. Fuck it. We're going alone. I'm trying to decide how I want to do this playthrough because just like all, every, uh, or at least Fallout New Vegas, there is, there's four factions and towards the end of the game you have to pick one and side with them which I hate and I think is stupid and I wish they would do it like um, Skyrim where you can just they were all separated like there could be a little interaction with all the factions that are separated so you can do each one and become badass grandmaster of all of them but in Fallout you have to pick one and then do all of it and then say or reload and do or do a new character and play through it all again and I really don't like that so I'm thinking Brotherhood because I know they're one of the main factions and the Brotherhood doesn't like synths so I'm trying to do I go find your own fish and spot clear out excuse me don't scare the fish asshole no. fuck you what do you think about that fucking asshole Okay, so we need to go in there. Sorry, I shouldn't have done that, but... Um... But yeah, I think I'm going... Going to go... Okay, there's rocks here I can stand on. Hey, fusion core is empty. So we'll do Brotherhood, and then, um... I'll just... I don't know. Maybe we'll reload and do it in video. But I'll probably just... Go about... My own... Like, you know, on my own. Because I do have another character, a personal one, that's like level 50-something and like, I don't know, 50-something hours. Um, but... Hi. Outsiders aren't allowed. Why are you here? Uh, shit. I'm here to rescue the survivors from Stockton's caravan. I can't let you do that. This ain't personal. Seems kind of personal. Whoa! Oh, fire! Did I kill all of them? Oh no, I didn't. Thought I killed them all with that one grenade. Just about, though. Whatever, fuck it. We're murdering our way through everything. Let's level up. Um, okay, so we're at 18. We should take master lockpicking. That seems like the logical choice. So we're going to do that. Found key. Mm -mm. The missions must be protected. Anybody else? I got plenty of bullets to go around. Shoot, we're almost out of time, too. Ah! Fuck it, everyone dies. Simpler that way. Quickly and with what first comes to mind. 
You're approached by a frenzied scientist who yells, I'm going to put my quantum harmonizer in your photonic resonation chamber. What's your response? It's a... that safe test. <laughs> Answer the question. I, 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 I don't know. I don't know science stuff. I... ignore him. Ignore him, you say. Oh, fascinating. Okay, interesting. So they're torturing people for some reason. Hey, what? Oh my goodness, I aim. GG aim. Wow, I missed all of those shots. Fuck. Is that not a body part? Nope, nope. Wait, is it? Yes, it is. Hope. <laughs> Some tough guys. I like it. Makes me think we need... Next. Did that explosion kill him? Oh, it knocked him down, though. Didn't kill him. God damn, why are you so strong? Why do you take so many bullets? Crap. How do I... I can't go that way. Okay, let's go down real quick. Anything here? Anything here of note? Doesn't appear to be so. Deciding if we should end this episode, because we're coming on... I lost him. Oh, yes, take that. Coming up on 20 minutes. But I don't know how long it's going to take me to clear through here. Oop, cigarette carton. I mean to sell those, but I never do. I think I've kept stuffing them in um, storage. Ooh, wrong thing. Why is it got to be so... Okay, let's see. Coward. What? What'd you say? You know what, we'll just keep going. Make this a little long. Um, hope everybody doesn't mind. Where was there a tape? Please. I got a kid. I... Do you want another treatment? No. Again, congratulations, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? I've already told you. Catcher! Again, which position? Catcher, right? Be the catcher. Why? I... I don't know. They... They got the... The funny... The funny helmets. I saw a picture when I was a kid. Do synths even know the rules of baseball? No, please. I'm not. Uh, just let me. No! Just answer the questions, and only the questions. Congratulations, you made it onto a baseball team. Which position do you prefer? Catcher. He's pretty persistent with that answer. If I get electrocuted for saying catcher, I might change my answer. Just saying. Haha, <laughs> your head's gone. You know, it seems, I mean, good on him for being dedicated to his answer. I can respect that. But, again, there's another one. Confidence on subject 12 is high. We'll know for certain post-mortem. And any progress on question three? None. Got it. The EKG shows that made our your methodology quite was clear on the value of question Subject 12 three. answers in regards to Removing baseball and its challenges all the data particularly fascinating. Date. See here and here. I wonder, do they play baseball in the Institute? 
Or is there some sort of defect in their program? We need another failure to explore this further. We can do nothing more with Subject 12 except final processing. I'll let the reclamation team know. What is the connection between baseball and synths? Like, I'm su surprised anybody even knows what baseball is. The dude in Diamond City didn't know. Uh, from Blinth to research team, I know this sounds insane, but we need to ask the last question. Without the limiter of multiple choices, the answer will admittedly be more varied, and so the psychological reaction will be different. But maybe it is a core part of the experience. We're saying marginal improvement of the test's accuracy. To be candid, the improvement is within the margin of error. Perhaps we should consider something drastic. What, for, for what it's worth, I agree with you. Question 4 was always Montgomery's baby. I think question 4 is a red herring. We do not have a monopoly on detecting synths. In the Commonwealth, people trip up infiltrators all the time based off their imperfect behavior and memory. It is indisputable that the baseball question produces abnormal results, but I think all... I think at its heart, this is not a psychological trigger. Instead, it's a defect in memory, so if we pin all of our hopes on question 4, when it's just one wetware update later that we're back to square one. I know you dismiss my insistence that question 3 is the key, but we have more sophisticated monitoring of test subjects, EKG, pupil dilation, response time, than the subliminal data uh, would speak volumes. Sense are incapable of true feelings, so again, question 3. Chambers surely has to see losing Montgomery as a mistake. I don't care if Covenant is lacking medical assistance. One limiting factor isn't the stream of test subjects going through Covenant. It's our acquisition rate of test negatives and our research bandwidth. Montgomery is far more important here than giving scavers checkups. Can you please talk to Chambers about this? Uh, that's the doctor back in town. So... They're trying to identify synths using the safe test which was from the vault. Uh, I believe you do a safe test in Fallout 3. It's been many years since I've played that game. And... Um... Wait, where? Where am I? Nope, I'll be with you in a moment. I'm not done looking around. Or maybe I am done looking around. Yep, we're going this way. So, and I still don't see the correlation between baseball and whether someone is a synth or not. Oh, nice shot. You did a real good job hitting me. Oops, if I push the right button. How do you miss that? The dude's like right there. He's actually really tough too. You know, like, it seems somewhat foolish to to even try to make that correlation, but I'm not sure. The intruder must be eliminated. Oh yeah, or what? <laughs> Doing a damn fine job of uh, eliminating me. Yes, sir. Okay, this is that chain door back at the beginning. <clears throat> we gotta be close to the end, I would think. <clears throat> and here you are. My life's work on the verge of ruin, all because of your efforts to find Stockton's supposed daughter. You do know she's most likely a synth, yes? If you are more than a hired gun, perhaps we can stop this before it's too late. Stockton's daughter is a synth. Why else do you think we attacked her caravan? After testing, we have well over a 70% confidence level of our initial diagnosis. I'd have to perform an autopsy to be sure. Even... Uh... Seventy percent isn't enough. You don't know she's a synth. And I'm not saying I'm against synths, even though the Brotherhood is, and that's who I plan on probably allying with. It 
Are you being silent for a reason? Shut up, woman, I'm thinking. Go on. What would you do if your family was destroyed by a synth right in front of you when you were but a child? Would you roll over and accept it? Or would you do something about it? What happened to you? In Diamond City, a lifetime ago, my parents and eight others were massacred by someone. At first, we thought the maniac was human. But that was the day we learned of the Institute's latest creations. The Sins. As long as the Institute walks invisibly amongst us, they strike without warning and control us from the shadows. I've dedicated my life to devising a test to detect these hidden sins, to root them out so they can be extinguished. Isn't that a goal worth fighting for? Uh, yeah. Who really knows what the Institute is responsible for? And how do they manage to keep us in the dark? A living synth is indistinguishable from a human by any medical test yet devised. But it turns out psychology can detect a difference. Enter the safe test. The test is in its infancy, but through sacrifice and perseverance, our success rate is improving. Sounds like your test may not even work. There is a correlation. We've measured. We just need more data, more test subjects to narrow it down. Covenant is many things. A refuge for the broken people left in the wake of the Institute's rampages. A place of safety and healing. But most importantly, it is our one chance to end this age of paranoia. I will make you a deal. If you let me dispose of Stockton's sin and continue our work, I'll match whatever reward you were offered. Um, she might be a synth, but there's no way of knowing for sure without killing her. And I can't just murder an innocent girl just to prove a theory. That's somewhat unheroic, which I'm trying to be heroic, even though we did just murder a fisherman. I'm ready to proceed if- Sorry. That's a deal I won't accept. Then you'll just have to kill me. Sorry. Uh... What if she really is a synth though? Then I just murdered a shitload of people. Kind of in cold blood. combat you know but there's no way to know again without murdering her which is a pretty fucked up thing to do um, until this whole honest Dave affairs resolve stand down this doctor and retrieval drew too much attention mr. Fitzgerald is furious you extracted subject 14 so close to covenant see that doesn't happen again Team's all patched up and ready to grab some synths. Still tracking subject Boyd. Just give us the order. Dr. Rogers rant. I do not need a degree in socioeconomics to realize Covenant's trade policies are unstable. As soon as we can't afford the subsi subsidies, Mrs. Fitzgerald will increase her prices to sustain self-sufficiency. Commercial traffic is slow, but more than traders visit Covenant now. One of Dr. Rogers' points concerns me. Covenant has had a net operating operating loss since its inception. Its expenses are staggering. The fusion batteries alone are a pricely sum. The assets seized from the captured subjects is in no way makes up this massive deficit. If we were a business, I'd say we're a couple months away from bankruptcy. Great concerns. Do you think these objections have not been raised before? But by all means, propose a viable alternative. But bear this in mind. Fact. We need a large da data sample. The larger the better. Fact. The initial test is most effective if its subjects are close to their psychological baseline. Fact. The Institute gets a single hint of our existence. Our mission will end before it has truly began. Covenant was designed from the ground up to attract visitors, and it is working. Our data pool is increasing at an exceptional rate, and the subjects take the test voluntarily and unaware. Effectively, the test is hiding in plain sight. 
Covenant is a mistake. I cannot dispute Dr. Ryan's case for the therapeutic value of the community, but our mission must come first. The wide variety of risks we expose ourselves to is outright foolish. My concerns should not have been summarily dismissed. There must be another saner way. Oop. Okay, we're almost done. Um... All right, we'll unlock all the cells. I'm free. Are you a synth? Excuse me. <laughs> Please don't hurt me. Tell me who you are. I'm Amelia Stockton. I'm not a synth. How can I be sure? Please, you have to believe me. I'm a human being just like you. You saved me. Thank you. My father, old man Stockton, he will reward you. Huh. Okay, let's... Scope out these cells and be done. Okay, well, that was exceptionally long. Hopefully we made the right choice. We'll never really know. But we'll pick this up here tomorrow in the next episode.